there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm going over the third video in a series all about sales compensation and commission programs. So if you haven't seen the first two videos yet, be sure to go back and check those out. I'll link to them in the comments. The first video is going over Paymix and the second video goes over more detail on setting your sales targets. So we are using a template from timesavingtemplates.com for the sales quota attainment template for this example. Video number one, we covered the pay mix, which can greatly affect the incentive potential for your sales employees. And we also covered some different pay mix examples where it's usually displayed as a ratio and what type of jobs they would typically apply to. And then in the second video, we went over tying your total target compensation, TTC, or also sometimes called OTE, on target earnings, tying that to your target sales volume. So what do you want to ideally be paying a salesperson that meets all their targets? And then also what would you want to recognize as over target as well as minimum sales volume threshold before you even start paying a commission. So that is all covered in the first two. So basically how this template works is the green cells is where we've entered information and the gray and the blue as well are formulas that update based on what is entered in the green cells. So with this example, we have somebody with a 70, 30 pay mix. So that means at 100,000, their potential commission at target is 30,000 when they meet the sales target volume. So there's two things we could do now using this template. You could either calculate commissions using this information here at the bottom, a recommended target commission percentage or recommended above target commission percentage. So you could use those as a flat commission of the sale. So between 50,000 to 500,000, they would be getting 6.6% .6 on any sales volumes between 50 and 500. And then above target 500 to 700,000, they would be getting this 15% target. That's because we have a leverage at two um, and leverage was I believe covered in the second video so that is usually two or three and it just changes the rate at which you're rewarding for that above target earnings so that's one way is just using these commission percentages the second way this template is set up to work is using quota attainment so quota attainment is just the their percentage, which I have calculated in this column. It's just their percentage of looking at what were their actual sales volume and how does it compare to your target. So everything is, is looking at how it's comparing to that target. So obviously it's always going to be 100%. If they hit their target 500,000, then they've gotten 100% quota attainment if they're below 100%, that means they're below this 500,000. And then if they're above 100%, then they are above the 500,000. So let me go over the next tab, which is going to pull all this information that we determined in this page. And it's pulling it over into the employee details page. So, so this quota attainment percentage is just taking actual sales volume divided by target. So in the first tab, we were doing everything annualized. We were looking at the annual sales target, the annual threshold, the annual total target compensation that you want to be paying. So we could do quarterly and then it's going to break out the annual targets into four, or you could also select monthly. It's going to break out that target into uh, 12 and then you would just update your label here. Let me switch it back to quarterly. You may do annual if you're estimating or testing things out. So same setup here. The green is where you would select your information. Not a lot of green to enter here because this is all pulling from the other page. 
you're going to select the time frame and then enter the actual sales volume here. So you'll see uh, for this quarter one example, they have the exact sales volume when we're breaking out that annual target per quarter. So they're at 100 percent. And then it's just going to calculate that they're within target and calculate their commission based on that 100% quota attainment. And then the second one, they're getting 160%. And so that is falling in the range of above target. So now they're getting the full amount for their at target payout plus an increased payout for that amount above excellence. So, and then if, so the threshold is pretty low here, but say we're just barely above, just barely above threshold, it's going to calculate a much lower payout for that. So that is kind of how that works. Just taking the annual and breaking it out, dividing it by quarterly or monthly, and then calculating the bonuses that way. So this template comes with two tabs for each employee where you can individually determine commission targets and tracking the actual for up to 20 sales employees. So in the summary, it's just going to populate with some of the main information, the year to date totals, and then also all the targets that were previously set. Then you can also click to go to the specific tab. Those are hyperlinked. So those are two different ways you could calculate the actual commission using that quota attainment percentage, or you could also just use the target commission percentage on sales volume. And I hope that helps explain some of the basics of sales compensation. There's still a lot more variations and different things you could do. You could add different types of bonuses that incentivize sales to different product lines more than others. There's really a whole lot you could do. So I may be back later with more templates on other types of sales compensation plans. But um, until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets in your HR department or your small business. And we do have some free resources that you can grab over here at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. Just click on the human resources and compensation freebies to get a free compensation metrics cheat sheet. And we also have a free guide to getting started with Excel. And to find that template that I was just going over, I will link to it in the comments, but you can also find it at timesavingtemplates.com by going to shop and then human resources, and then you'll find it there, a uh, sales commission plan quota attainment template. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.